Hey everybody, Patty Ann here again today. I have something really fabulous to show. I showed this a long, long time ago, but I think it's time to revisit it now. It's something that's going to save you tons of time. Uh, you can use it for your silhouette program or any kind of program that you use for word editing. And you can especially use it for imbrilliance. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you type in a word up here, which I've typed in my name, and then I hit enter on the keyboard, all I have to do then is look down here and it's going to show how the text looks on every single font on my computer. Right now I'm on my laptop and I have different fonts than on my computer, so I can see exactly what I have on my laptop. So if you start scrolling down here, these are in alphabetical order. You can change it. Uh, you can make them bigger by clicking here if you want so that you can see them more easily or you can make them smaller. Right now they are at normal width. You can make them tighter so they go closer together or looser. And of course that's something that you can do on your computer. Um, let's see. So let's go back to smaller. And you'll scroll down here. And what's neat about this, too, is it's going to help you remember what to do once you find it. So once I start scrolling down here, I'll come to some other information. It says scroll through your fonts and pick your favorites along the way. So I'm going to click some to be able to compare later. So I'm just willy-nilly picking a few. So I'll pick four. I think I'll go way down here and these are all on my computer and I can keep going and notice it says once you have some alternatives selected compare them and pick the best so you'll click filter at the top as I said I wanted to have one more so you know it really doesn't matter okay that's pretty Samantha upright so it says filter selected fonts so then and I can make these smaller so I can see them side by side. When I see them like this, I can choose which one I like the best. I can make them bigger if I want to. And then I can scroll through. And I should be able to see all four. Hmm, where'd they go? I thought I chose four. I guess I only have three. All right. So anyway, I can make them bigger or smaller. And let's say I decide that I really like this one and this is the one I want to use. All I need to do is note the name of it, Floral Alphabet. And then when I go back into my other program I'm using, just choose that font or Dynamite, choose that font, right? So let's try one other word. Let's try the word in brilliance. And by the way, I have some links for some of these things down below these programs if you're interested in purchasing things, but this is free. Oh, let me, word, let me write that in there. Here's what this is called in case you can't see it. It's word mark, whoops, dot it, dot it. And that is the word. I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to start putting it in all my fonts. Of course, I would probably want them smaller so I could see more at one time. And notice it's just coming in of those selected fonts that I had before. I'm going to go back to show all fonts up here so that I can go back through again and see which one I might like for my project. So that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, please hit the bell so you're notified of when I go live with these little tips or any videos that I make. I sure do appreciate it. It helps a lot. Thanks, you guys. Bye.